Hello. As I unelegantly sit down. <laughs> um, I know I do a ton of gear reviews, lenses and cameras and speed lights and whatnot, but I really do enjoy editing images and especially creating them. It seems not only obvious that I've turned into a semi-professional keyboard jockey, at least sometimes it seems that way, but I'm not constantly sitting behind either this desk or the desk in the back room back there. I'm not one for advocating exponential expenditure of gear. Um, it is an undeniable hardcore fact that uh, you know, you give a, a cheap-ass Nikon D5000 to a hardcore photographer and a speed light. He'll do a lot more with that, or she will, than, uh, you know, any common Joe will with a medium format camera and $20,000 worth of lighting. Um, um, as far as endless discussion of uh, lenses and can nothing's going to change on that front. Um, the point being is that now that you actually have all this stuff, instead of perpetually concentrating on the latest and greatest camera, and this is important, I love making videos that nobody else talks about, instead of perpetually concentrating on the latest greatest lens, not that there's anything wrong with that, or the next greatest camera, I mean, I've spent the past uh, week doing advanced training in Capture One. I've been using Lightroom and Photoshop for ages, and so I've been doing a lot of tutorials and and some of the advanced settings of Capture One and also to uh, integrating my Wacom tablet or Wacom nobody knows the correct pronunciation um, actually Wacom calls it Wacom so I take that back um, incorporating using uh, my graphics tablet for uh, for uh, editing um, raw files uh, both Fujifilm and Nikon in Capture One Professional which I purchased and have been training on. Um, this is lateral expansion of any type of thing that uh, someone gets into. You know, once you have the primary stuff, you know, concentrating on the primary stuff doesn't really get you anywhere. I mean, once you reach a plateau, and all the camera gear is, has excellent output nowadays. I mean, that's undeniable, but after that we need to concentrate on lateral expansion. Um, kind of like a sumo wrestler, not going to get any taller, but he, he needs to get fatter, right? I think that's a really bad analogy, but point being concentrating on um, speed light work, and that actually scares a lot of people, is sticking your camera in manual. It doesn't have to be manual, but putting your camera in manual and uh, playing around with lighting, angles, diffusers. I mean, using, uh, I've always got one sitting here. I've always got tons of them sitting around the house. Honeycomb grids, um, deflectors, reflectors. Soft boxes. I mean, you can do, and I've said this a thousand, thousand times, you can do a lot more with lighting than you can with the latest, greatest lens. Undeniably, absolutely. Nobody on YouTube or any photographer is going to refute what I just said. I mean, that's a hardcore fact. So, um, I hope you take that into consideration. I like to keep my videos at least a little bit shorter than I normally can. I have been in the past where, you know, I might have flipped, flapped my lips a little too excessively, but um, this sort of lateral expansion of photography is incredibly important. I mean, start taking tutorials, improving your Lightroom or Photoshop skills. Um, um, buy a speed light and radio trigger. Like, if anybody has, you know, you may be limited in your budget, but if anybody has, you know, a nice camera and a few lenses and they're not concentrated on purchasing a speed light, and a uh, radio trigger. Just get like a uh, Godox 685 and X-Pro trigger. It could be a Godox uh, 800 series with a rechargeable lithium. However, I'm not all that fond of those. But I mean, the two of those together are only $170. I mean, you can't even buy a junk lens for $170. So concentrate on lighting. Concentrating on what I'm doing. And I kind of love learning new uh, software applications, especially complex ones. But I've been crushing my brain on doing advanced uh, Capture One uh, Pro training. And I freely admit that. I mean, other people on uh, these YouTube photography channels won't admit that they're doing that, even if they do that. That makes it seem like they need training. Well, I mean, I do because I've been using Photoshop and Lightroom forever. And uh, um, 
I, I, I see all the benefits of Capture One interface and using it, and there's a lot of stuff I like about it. There's very little I don't like about it, but just a couple nitpicky things. I mean, there's no such thing as a pixel level editor like Photoshop, obviously so. There's no such thing as a replacement for that, no matter how much someone says otherwise. So, I mean, just consider a lateral expansion. Training. The two best trainings that I guarantee you that like 95% of you are not doing is, um, is lateral expansion in your photography, and there's many levels of that. It could be your business, your business cards, the website. Is, now you may not be doing this for a business, it could be just a hobby. Is It's a lateral expansion in training on post-production editing and uh, expanding your skills uh, with lighting. Because literally, you have the best camera and the best lens in the world, and you may be a great photographer, but uh, you need to expand those lighting and uh, post-production skills. And, and uh, this is a very important video because this is something that no other YouTube photography channel talks about, not that I've ever seen, ever. But it's undeniably true. I mean, nobody can deny it. So anyway, Happy New Year to you. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.